added all the fields so let's let's kind of recap so we have a customer id uh customer name address okay and you can see uh you can keep a note of the you know the field size i'm using we have the city postal code country phone and fax okay um and by the way default uh Access created a primary key on this. If you if you need to create a primary key, all you need to do is simply select the field and then select primary key, and that that's how you enable the primary key. What that is going to do is it's going to um, make your uh, field unique. In other words, it will not uh, repeat that value again. Okay. So once you are designing the table, let's go ahead and click save. Okay. And now I'm going to uh, now that I'm done with my design view. I can right click here and sh choose data view or you can click here and go to data sheet view okay and so now let's this is our customer uh, our first customer I'm actually going to uh, start typing this is the same information that uh, you know I had in my Excel but uh, let me just go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and type some of these and I mean entering information it's obviously you know straightforward Okay, you just uh, need to make sure you're typing everything correctly. And I'm going to go ahead and add this uh, address. It's actually, um, I used to live at that location. So I figured might as well do that. Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Okay, and then, so I'm going to go ahead and enter some data here. And then uh, I, I will be back. And then we will, at that point, we'll move on to the orders table. Okay, and then make a relationship between the two. So, uh, shall be back. So, I am back. I have entered all of the information. Uh, you can see we have, uh, you know, uh, 13 lucky customers. Okay. Um, now, just to recap, like I said, these, you know, the one that I'm highlighting, these are considered fields or columns. Um, as you can see, every particular field is holding a you know particular information. Okay, so the postal code, if I can expand this a little bit, has nothing but postal codes in it. And now, if I look, uh, if I look across across the in a horizontal manner, this thing is considered a record. Okay, so here's our friends, the Big Cheese Company. Okay, and they happen to be in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, also. Okay, so that is um, that is uh, you know records and columns. As you can see, I have entered all of the information. So now we are uh, ready to move on to the next one. But before I do that, let me uh, let me talk about a couple more things. So when you create an orders table, now uh, that you know the customers is ready, we can focus on the orders table, right? Now think of this: a customer can have zero to many orders. In in t database terms, this is really known as one to many relationship right the relationship is enforced by the primary key which i already mentioned and i did not mention foreign key okay basically which is you know which basically joins to the original data but um, here's here's the simplest application or simplest definition i can think of basically in the main table which is think of it as the parent table you are going to have a field denoted as the primary key, okay? So like I was mentioning, in our customer's table, the customer ID would be considered the primary key. Whereas in the secondary, which is also the child table, so think of it, you can't have a child without the parent, you will also have a field with the same data, but this one is gonna be denoted as a foreign key or FK. So, uh, bottom line in the orders table you're also going to create a customer ID field this will tie back to the original table which is what well that is customer table right this is our starting point and this is you know where we're ending okay so that's that's kind of like how we enforce the relationship between the two as far as the demo we are going to create an orders table okay and then we are going to join to customers table by adding a relationship between the two so so that's what I want to do next uh, now we already have this um, this data ready to go if you expand this one this is by the way it shows you all the objects right now we only have customers uh, object I'm going to go ahead and create a new table now once you're in access you just go to the create tab okay you can do two things you can start plugging data in you can or you can do table design you can even do a third one by the way you can in, import external data 
Okay, we're not go going to look at that, but right now we're going to click on table design. And once again, we are going to go ahead and, uh, you know, enter some information. Uh, I am going to come back. I do want to point a couple of things in here. So let me just, um, let me just do this real quick here. Uh, there are two things I want to show you. Product, I believe that should be fine. And then we have order date, which is going to be daytime. So this is what I was mentioning, okay? Now, this order date field, it doesn't make any sense to have it as a short text, right? We want to create it as a daytime field, which is what you can choose that under the data type, okay? Now, what is this auto number thing in the first one? Well, auto number is basically a special type of field, okay? It's a, you know usually an integer, and uh, when you're creating a table, we're actually going to use you know an existing table and import the data in for some of these orders but if this was a brand new table and you're creating auto number it would start with one and then the next record would be two next record would be three well why why do that well here's here's the reason why if you create this field as a primary key by having an auto number you are forcing uniqueness in that table in other words you don't have to worry about this at all uh, you know, access takes care of that. Okay, so that is uh, what I wanted to mention. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video one more time. I'm going to create this table and go ahead and order the data. I mean, insert the data, and then uh, I shall be back. Okay, so I am back one more time. Um, uh, our table is ready to go. As you can see, uh, let's just kind of go down the fields. We have a order date, order ID. We have the actual product that you're going to sell. Okay, what date was the order placed? Right here, order date. As you can see, it's a date time field. Ship date, when was the order shipped? Okay, what kind of uh, career are we using? And then here is the key. This is the key I wa wanted to highlight. This is customer ID, right? But what table are we in? Well, we are in the orders table. Why do we have a customer ID? Well, this is the ID that is going to point back to our main table customers okay if I go back to if I double click on my customer table see this data right here okay what is this this is the primary key in the main table okay but we're going to ha have the same information in the orders table now the name actually doesn't need to match but you do need to match uh, you know the data type okay so in other words if you had a different uh, type of data type you know maybe integer or phone number this will not work for the relationship Okay, and then finally the last field I have is order total, which is currency. Now, if I switch to the data sheet view, which you can click on view, data sheet view, here is the information. Okay, so we have uh, we have the order ID. Uh, by the way, I imported this from an existing database. That's why the numbers are starting at 10,200. If this was a brand new database, it would uh, you know start with one, two, three, four. We have the product, we have the order date, ship date, right? Okay and uh, you know customer ID and order total now check this out this one I'm going to just copy this okay I want to find out you know where is this customer in here in fact I can see that right here okay so that field was you know actually their order was placed by white clover markets so that's really how you you know make a relationship between the two um, we showed you how to create a table in fact let me uh, uh, the last thing I wanted to do is uh, show you how to make a relationship, but let me just make sure I'm not missing anything else. Oh, okay, so we are going to make a join basically, you know, from the primary key to the foreign key. Okay, so let me go ahead and kill this one. I think that we're, we're good to go. Uh, we have we have all of the data. As far as the number of orders in here, we have 35 orders, right? One thing you do want to make sure when you're making a join between two tables that the field has data in both field I mean there's data in both fields okay so order in the order table customer ID looks like it's populated and also this field is populated here so that looks pretty good now when you want to create a join what you do is you go to um, database tools okay tab and then you go to the relationships group and you go to relationships when you do that, here is our tables in the database. Okay, I'm going to select both of these. Just do a control and select, and then click add. Okay, uh, as you can see, there's nothing, there's no connection between the two. I can make these a little bit bigger. 
we have the customers table on the left orders table on the right okay uh, this is the primary key here this is the primary key here now in order to make the join <clears throat> you can see that we need to make a connection from here to here okay so you simply uh, let's start with the main table I'm going to highlight it uh, left click on it and then actually uh, let me do this okay okay so basically what I did was let me do this again I, I selected the field okay in my child table and I don't think it really matters you can go either way uh, you can go here and land on that field okay and then in fact it'll bring up the di dialog box and you can you can change fields here if you wanted to too but basically here we are picking the customer ID okay from the customers table and also the customer ID from the orders table okay that is going to be our join and we also you can see the relationship is one to many right which is what I mentioned and I'm going to select enforce referential integrity well what does that mean well that basically means that you cannot have an order for a customer that does not exist it, it would not make any sense or if if there's orders for a customer you cannot go back and change their ID so this is essentially you know keeping your data clean to avo avoiding garbage in garbage out thing that I mentioned okay so I will do that and I will click create okay uh, and it's telling me that I could not lock the table. Okay, well, that, that's fine. Let me, uh, my bad. What I need to do is I need to close these tables, okay, uh, <clears throat> that are open in access. And I will go ahead and save layouts. Now everything looks like it's closed. I'm going to try this one more time, okay. And now select this one and hit a create, okay. So now looks like it's happy, right? And you can see we're going one on the customer side to many on the order side well that makes sense okay and now I'm going to close this it's going to ask me if you want to save it I will say yes right but uh, check this out now when you open up customers you will see something different within within that access went ahead and created the relationship and now you're getting this plus sign on the left side of the customer well if you expand this one this is pretty cool. It actually t shows you any of the orders. So this one does not have any orders. Let's find, um, I believe, uh, some of these other ones have orders. Yeah, see this this customer right here, uh, the big cheese, has all of these orders placed. So that is kind of cool that you can, uh, you know, and I think we have orders here too. Yeah, so this one, this one definitely has a bunch of orders. As you're expanding, you can see that uh, you know there are records out there. Let's actually do this. Count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's seven orders on this one. And you can verify that by copying this. Let's open up the orders table, right? Let's go here. And then let's just do, uh, I think you should be able to do, um, you know, let's see, I want to find, uh, well, we could just count it one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, right? Okay, so they have seven orders that are in there, and uh, that's really how you, uh, you know, do the relationship between the two. Uh, I believe that's all we had. If you uh, want to see more um, of this video and other tutorials, please uh, visit us online. We are learningcomputer.com. We have quite a few uh, items and tutorials and videos out there. We also have an active blog. So definitely uh, check that out. Thank you for watching the video.